Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. This video is to talk about one of the biggest astrological events in 2024, coming quite hot off the back of the solar eclipse that we had last week, which was another huge event. Um, and what it is, of course, is the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, which is taking place, depending where you are in the world, on the 20th or the 21st of April. But because these are outer planets that are involved, we are very much in the influence of the energy now, almost a week ahead of time, and it will be strongest between the 19th and the 22nd of April. So Jupiter, the planet of expansion and opportunity and growth, is coming to meet heavyweight Uranus at 21 degrees 49 minutes of Taurus. Now this is a big deal because both these planets are what we consider to be outer planets. So when they meet up, when, when an outer planet meets another outer planet, the energy is incredibly powerful because it doesn't happen that often. Now Jupiter has this quicker orbit or the faster orbit taking 12 years to move around the zodiac, whereas Uranus is much slower. So Uranus takes 84 years to make a full circuit around all 12 signs. So they do meet up together around about every 12 years, but it is 83 years since they met in the sign of Taurus. And that last happened in 1941 at 25 degrees 38 minutes of Taurus. So, you know, this is a big deal. Now, what I do with these videos as an intuitive and galactic astrologer, I like to sort of pick apart some of the stronger energies, things that are standing out to me. I also often look at the numbers and the fixed star cosmic energies that are coming through with each of these significant events. So while I appreciate that, you know, again, as I said, with the solar eclipse video I did, you know, there is a plethora of information out there, so much content about this particular event. I'm hoping that by sharing my perspective, I can add something new as well as probably repeating what a lot of other astrologers are saying. But just to set the scene, if you're not overly familiar with astrology or if you're quite new to this practice, um, Uranus is the planet which basically represents our higher consciousness. It is all about awakening and very much about freedom of breakthrough. This planet acts in a very unpredictable, unconventional and very maverick manner. So, you know, we never really know what to expect. I think the kind of key popular phrase with Uranus is to expect the unexpected. Now, it is very much about um, bringing chaos and shaking things up to create change for the greater good. So although Uranus can seem like, you know, everything has gone totally crazy, there is always a divine order within the chaos and a divine plan for the chaos, and a divine reason for the chaos. So Uranus is very much about our higher mind, our consciousness and our awareness. It also represents frequency, energy, and is very electrical in nature. So when Uranus is active, you know, we are in the realms of DNA activations, starseed activations, um, sort of um, solar flares, shifts in frequency, and very much light, the energy of light is coming through strongly. Uranus is also about the new innovation, genius, brilliance, new ideas, things that come out of left field, things that haven't been done before. So they can seem very much ahead of their time because they might be so um, unfamiliar and sound so crazy and, you know, almost improbable. But actually, you know, this is very much an energy of the future and where we need to be heading. Uranus is very original it is also very much linked to the galactic and cosmic energy because 
it is the ruling planet of Aquarius, which lends a real sort of quirky, but also very galactic futuristic element to this particular event. And Uranus is strong at this time, um, not only because Jupiter is expanding its energy through the conjunction, but also because Pluto is in the sign of Aquarius. So this is really strengthening the Aquarian feel, the Aquarian energy, of this um, of the time and boosting this particular conjunction and the influence of it. Now, just to quickly talk about Jupiter, as I said, Jupiter expands. It is represents growth. It represents opportunity. It is very much a bigger picture sort of viewpoint and thinking ruled traditionally by Sagittarius. Jupiter is taking our beliefs and what we know and what we understand to be true and taking it much higher, giving us a much bigger, wider, broader perspective. Jupiter is also very interested in and represents the truth. So this is very much a theme for the time. And, you know, it's whenever Jupiter comes into contact with another planet, it expands the influence of that planet. It expands the energy often to excess so, you know, we do have to be careful with Jupiter in the chart because it can bring excessive energy, but certainly there is a massive um, expansion and huge opportunity coming through this, this planet. But wherever Jupiter is, Jupiter wants to understand and seek meaning, greater meaning. And of course, both planets are transiting Taurus, Uranus much more slowly than Jupiter, but Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac. It is the sign um, that rules our physical world, our physical reality, the tangible, what we would understand as the third dimension. So this is very much about our material worlds. It represents and rules what we need to be comfortable in our material world. So that includes the food we eat and our food um, resources the energy that we need to keep our homes warm, the clothes that we wear, the fuel that we put in our cars, is also very much linked to nature, to earth itself being fixed earth sign. So, you know, the energy of Taurus is very much about predictability, about security, about stability. You know, you know where you are with Taurus. It is very real, it's very safe, it's very grounding, very nurturing. There's often, or there is also a very strong creativity coming through with Taurus. But, you know, Taurus is about attachment and, and our material world and our material physical reality and existence. And so what we have with Uranus moving through this sign is a real sort of um, shaking up of the ways in which we have maybe become fixed and very attached to things. And just, you know, reminding us, reminding you that Uranus is working for our greatest and highest good. So Uranus wants to bring about change. It can be very chaotic in the way that it does this, but there is a divine plan to the chaos and to the change. And often, you know, we have to be shaken up in order to wake up. And this is kind of a massive wake up call with Uranus moving through Taurus. And, you know, this this particular transit feels very much as if we are being given a real shake up so that we can reset and find a new way and come back to being. Okay, so Taurus in its lower expression, you know, can create blocks because it be can become so fixed and so attached to a certain way of being that it does not want to change. Taurus does not like change at all. And, you know, Taurus represents the land, it represents our physical earthly world and planet. You know, so we can see from a physical point of view how Uranus transiting Taurus is affecting us. You know, there are a lot more earthquakes, a lot more physical world and earth events taking place. We have seen disruption to food supplies, to energy supplies, you know, and this isn't just in the last few weeks. I'm going back over the last few years, there have been big changes and changes that have required us to maybe, you know, change the way we view things, change the way we live from it on a day to day um, level. And Taurus also rules our values and what we value in our world, how we give things worth. 
So this includes our self-worth. But certainly Uranus is shaking up our understanding and our opinions and our viewpoints, our perspective of what is valuable and what is important to us and what we need in order to be comfortable. And it is also shaking up how we view and regard and treat the planet as well. So this is also coming in at this time. This is, this is a really big deal. Uranus coming together with Jupiter to really give Uranus a huge boost. You know, both planets are powerful in their own way, but when they come together, you know, it is like a massive um, lightning bolt. Now, when we look at astrological events, we don't just look at the planets in question, we look at the chart as a whole. So, you know, there's some interesting energies taking place at this time that you know are worth looking at and um, mercury is still in retrograde but it is moving back through aries and is going to be conjunct the north node so mercury retrograde in aries is really asking us to go within and to connect with the wisdom that each of us holds within us to really not be influenced by sort of outside opinions or information that you know may or may not be true but to really come in and to discern the truth for ourselves and to access that inner knowledge that inner knowing that inner wisdom and to be able to trust it and when this energy connects with and interacts with the north node you know there is a real sort of validation here that whatever it is that we are tuning into and sort of bringing up out of ourselves in terms of understanding and knowledge and wisdom is very much for our soul growth it is part of our soul growth it is for our evolution and it is really what we need to do to be able to take that step and to move forward and to grow and to come into sovereignty to not be sort of influenced or controlled or manipulated by understanding and, inf and imp opinions and information that is maybe coming from outside of ourselves because Aries is very much about coming into the I am and to trusting the self and what you know to be true. Venus is conjunct Chiron again in Aries so we have this really strong Aries energy still in the chart and Chiron being our deepest wound of the self, which has been very much highlighted at the solar eclipse. So a lot of us are working through a lot of stuff that has come up through the energy of the eclipse. Um, but Venus is at this point connecting with Chiron to really shed a light and show us what value this wound is bringing and how, you know, how we can really make a difference through addressing the wound and healing the wound and stepping into the wounded healer that we are all being called to be. And the sun will just have moved into Taurus, so we have some very strong Taurus energy as well. Sun at one degrees of Taurus, and there are some interesting galactic alignments which I will come back to. But again, you know, the sun in Taurus is really about helping us to ground which is going to be really important because um, of the high frequency energies coming through the conjunction and um, also giving us some stability and sort of reassuring us that actually you know we are on the right path that we are held that we are safe and we are nurtured we also have um neptune is in the final degrees of Pisces and will be opposing the moon at the time of the conjunction the moon at 29 degrees of virgo now 29 degrees of any sign is an anoretic degree point. So it does bring up some chaos or some sort of rush to complete. But with the moon in Virgo opposing Neptune in Pisces, which is very ethereal, very imaginative, very, very creative, very psychic, very spiritual, it feels to me as if the moon is trying to pull that sort of higher um compassionate energy down into the physical to ground it to bring it into the body in into the earth through the body and to really make use of it to give it um to give it value but also to kind of make it serve us you know make it work for our greatest and highest good and sort of balancing out the sort of very high sort of energies that are coming through neptune and pisces and uranus as well um, and earth it down sort of Pull it down into our um, into our day to day reality. Mars is creating a sextile with the Jupiter Uranus conjunction sextile at twenty two degrees of Pisces. So Mars is very much again, you know, 
not far behind Neptune at this point in the chart, but very much sort of giving purpose, giving drive, giving action to a more spiritual way of being, a more spiritual approach to um, sort of the frequency of unity, which comes through high seas, bringing deep compassion in, but actually activating it and reminding us how important it is to have compassion and to have a very spiritual approach and outlook at this time. It's taking as much higher into sort of above and beyond our day-to-day -day reality in order to support us at this time, you know, while these changes are taking place. So just looking at the Galactica chart, again, I'm not going to go into every alignment, but there are a couple that really stand out. The sun is conjunct a star in the Andromedans constellation called Mirac. And this is a beautiful star, which is bringing through the energies of peace, of beauty, of creativity, of resourcefulness. So again, with the, the sun shining a light on the energies of this star, it's reminding us how we are resourceful, how we have got creative gifts, how we can really manifest things if we, you know, turn our attention to it. And that the potential that we each hold within us, which is way far above and beyond what we actually really understand at this time. This star also brings a psychic ability and the ability to perceive vibration and energy within the physical, which is really, really interesting. So when this star is activated in the chart, it is said that we can hear or we can connect to the earth. We can actually hear and feel the vibration and frequency and the sound of earth. We can hear her song. Um, and, you know, the the whole idea that the, fr the frequency and sound is deeply healing for the earth and for us because we are part of the earth being physical and embodied at this time. So it really connects us to the vibration and the frequency of the planet and of one another, which I find really interesting because it feels to me that, you know, this whole conjunction really is about a massive awakening of consciousness. But it is not just, um, you know, bringing through truth and disclosure and you know, information being brought to light, which, you know, absolutely is part of the whole of the energy of this year. But this, the fact that the sun is interacting with this Andromedan star and this Andromedan frequency, which is also, I should have said, about freedom, about the ability to adapt to change, to be very, um, you know, able to shape, sort of shape shift your energy and your understanding and not become fixed to any one state, to be able to have a real understanding that with the Andromedan energies, we can manifest and create anything that we want and you know within the Andromedan star system they have that ability just to change their reality you know with one thought so again it's bringing those themes those gifts and um, those concepts through for us to consider and for us to start to work with but once we are in tune with the earth and we can actually feel her vibration and we can understand that she is a living being just as we are, it's going to be very hard for us to cause harm to her and to cause harm to the other beings that we are cohabiting with and coexisting with. So again, it feels like, you know, there are so many layers and levels to this great awakening, but this particular star and what it and its and its position at the time of this um great conjunction is really sort of giving us um sort of an invitation to tune into the earth in ways that perhaps we haven't done before or certainly many of us haven't done before we also have the sun in an opposition to the shapley attractor which is one of the cosmic points in the chart it is the most powerful it is probably the least understood if we can even start to understand cosmic point energy but really for me the shapley attractor is bringing giving us um the the, a cosmic boost to be able to attract into our lives what it is that we want but also the Shapley tractor represents truth and it is very much sort of um, everything but the truth and nothing but the truth so when the Shapley is activated you know anything that is not of truth anything that is not authentic cannot exist it just can't function it will not 
it just can't, it does not resonate in the energy of the Shapley attractor. So masks are falling, curtains are being pulled back, veils are lifting, you know, and that we are seeing the absolute truth of ourselves, of our reality, of who we are, and what what everything and of who we are. So again, you know, I know a lot of us are waiting for truth to come out, you know, in the collective about what has been going on. But also, you know, you have to consider this isn't just about the collective. It is about the truth of who you are as an individual. And again, once you start to connect with that and once we really start to understand that, that is when the shifts happen because everything, our reality will change when we understand ourselves and who we are at a much deeper level. So when I sort of tune into or visualize this conjunction, it, it, it's being represented to me um, or presented to me as a lightning bolt of energy, something that is coming through from a very galactic point, a very cosmic point through the, the Uranian Aquarian energy, coming down into the fixed earth, into Mother Earth, into our day-to-day -day reality, into our matrix, if you like, and just really breaking it apart, shattering all our sort of illusions, our understanding, our reality. And obviously, you know, this can manifest in so many different ways. And I've written down some things that we might see, but obviously, you know, we can't ever predict exactly what is going to happen. This is just kind of energy that's coming through. But you know, I've mentioned earthquakes and earth events already. Um, you know, there could be issues with power, glitches in various systems that we rely on, issues with food um, chain and food supply, with resources, with electricity. Um, you know, we could see increased solar activity, which has been building anyway in the lead up to this event. And I don't think we've seen the end of that. Um, but we could change our values. And again, because Uranus is very unexpected and very swift, things can change literally in a heartbeat. So we might find one day, you know, we're thinking of valuing one thing and then the next day it has totally changed. So again, you know, be prepared for things to happen very suddenly, very unexpectedly and come out of left field to really shake things up. You know, they could be because Jupiter is abundance and excess, you know, we could have financial windfalls. There could be changes to our financial system. But, you know, we could be um, having lots of money coming coming in out of nowhere suddenly. You know, so again, you know, set the intention. This is a perfect time for manifesting, for using that higher frequency energy to invite in what it is that you want and to really um, connect with the creator being that you are new insights, light bulb moments, activations, DNA upgrades, starseed awakenings, even contact with cosmic beings and cosmic energies, you know, meeting our galactic neighbors. There is so much potential with this. I've written down, you know, there's a potential to break free, free scarcity consciousness from lack consciousness. But ultimately, we are pulling through this conjunction. There is the opportunity to pull this higher level of consciousness down into the earth. And yes, it is going to potentially break up, you know, our stability and our sort of the stable sort of earth that we're standing on and may make some quite significant changes to our day-to-day -day reality and our experience of our worlds. But, you know, this is really about waking us up to the truth of who we are. And it is very quantum, very futuristic, very galactic, very exciting. So I think I have covered pretty much everything that I wanted to say. I hope you found it useful. I hope there's been information here that you can resonate with. Um, I feel this is going to be affect us all, but it may not happen, you know, on the day. This is just, it's a boost of energy. Something is likely to change, but we may not see that instantly, or we may see something dramatic, you know, who knows, be open to the Possibility, but it is going to be affecting our nervous system in quite a significant way. So try as much as possible to ground, you know, use your pranayama, your breathing techniques, get into your body, try and be still, you know, 
and have an awareness that you know if you are feeling anxious or you know things feel like they're getting out of control that it is the energy and that it will pass this this is a big event it's very strong energy um but it is just part of a continuation of the strong energies that are flooding in to support us to wake us up to help us raise our consciousness to increase the light quotient that we are working with you know to increase the amount of light in our bodies and to give us a much higher bigger um more cosmic perspective of our world and our reality so um thank you so much for watching you can find out about my work at spiralbright.co.uk please sign up for my newsletter if you're not already on my mailing list and um yeah let's see what happens what unfolds in the next sort of two weeks as we're working through this energy but you know just know it is exciting it is all part of the divine plan the divine order and you know everything is happening exactly as it is meant to so thank you for watching i'll see you soon